Then let us go to the mountain, the mountain of Yahweh. Importance placed on the name. Throughout the Holy Scriptures, one can read of the importance placed on the name of Yahweh. Knowing and using our Creator's name in worship and study has been important for each generation. For Yahweh is the only being who can give life, as the Holy Scriptures also say. 1 Timothy 6, verse 16. Who alone has immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom belongs honor and power everlasting. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. This scripture alone shows the great importance that is attached to knowing our Heavenly Father's name. But as this age grows closer to an end and all hope of life and protection slowly vanishes, and as it becomes more obvious that mankind will use his capabilities to eradicate all life, it becomes extremely important for people to know our Creator's name and to become knowledgeable of the great plan Yahweh reveals in His unadulterated Word. For it is only those who call with the name of Yahweh who will be, liver, de- be delivered at this end time. Yael, Joel 2, verses 31 and 32. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of Yahweh comes. And whoever will call with the name of Yahweh will be delivered. For in Mount Zion and Jerusalem there will be deliverance, as Yahweh has said, among the remnant of those who have escaped, of those whom Yahweh calls. The House of Yahweh. The House of Yahweh has purposed to go far beyond all other conscientious scholars. The House of Yahweh has purposed not only to restore Yahweh's name in all the scriptures in which it was inspired to be written, but we have also purposed to restore Yahweh's wonderful name in each of the hundreds of places where it was used in compound with place names and within personal names. As you read these scriptures, you will see how many times the name of Yahweh was honored by our forefathers and also how many times the translators hid this wonderful name. To the glory of Yahweh, most of the holy men of old would not even be recognized today by their proper names because of the drastic steps taken by both scribes and translators to suppress Yahweh's name. The book of scriptures prevalent in our society today simply is not complete, nor will is the will of Yahweh made manifest to the readers. Therefore, the house of Yahweh has not sought the honor and glory of the scholarly establishment in presenting this translation to the world. The house of Yahweh is giving all glory and praise to Yahweh. As you read the titles of the chapters in the book of Yahweh, you will see names you have never seen before, where there was the slightest possibility that a name bore the name of Yahweh The house of Yahweh has elected to honor Yahweh with it. This is especially true of the names of the prophets, which may have the compound of the name El, God. We are sure this may upset the scholarly community who continually hold on to years of admitted mistakes. However, the facts cannot be denied. In fact, they are admitted. The only answer is to bring light in the only means available. The house of Yahweh is giving all glory and praise to Yahweh and is not seeking gratification from the scholarly establishment. The scriptures, the scriptures, however, themselves have been thoroughly studied, compared, and critiqued. 
every scripture that has been changed from the King James Version can be proven beyond any shadow of doubt, thereby building your faith and trust in Yahweh, our Heavenly Father and Creator of the universe. We have purposed to replace the many vital words which were deliberately left untranslated in today's modern English versions. Words which, when left untranslated, disguise the true message which Yahweh inspired to be written, or else perpetuated the many traditions of men, not according to the scriptures, but rampant in this world. We have also purposed to remove all words and whole verses that have been added to the original scriptures, such as the footnotes that become supposedly inspired scriptures, as the, a later copyist concluded them in the holy writings. Most of the time, these added words change, hide, or contradict the original message of Yahweh, effectively confusing the reader who is in the search of the truth of Yahweh. We have not omitted these scriptures arbitrarily. Indeed, the commentaries of the religious scholars themselves have stated these scriptural facts. We only have acted upon the facts presented. We have purposed as well to clearly translate the many verses that have been left unclear and not understandable in other translations. The book of Yahweh is written in modern English, yet at the same time with the thought of presenting all the truth of Yahweh. One of the most frequently heard complaints about the translations today is against the hundreds of unintelligible verses they contain. The Hebrew and the Greek scriptures are understandable to those who know the plan of Yahweh, but to those who did not understand his plan, the meaning of these phrases were incomprehensible or else were hateful to them. Therefore, in their translations into other languages, some scriptures were incomprehensible or were translated in ways to perpetuate the traditions of men. We have purposed in all of these verses to bring out the clear meaning so the average layman can read and then understand Yahweh's great truths in His wonderful plan for mankind. I'm really excited right now about our teachers. Of course, I want everyone in the house to be a teacher. That's what you're here for, to be teachers, bring forth fruit, but you got to stay connected to the branch. If you don't, your fruit will swivel and die. And we got to all stay connected with the vine, and we got to draw our water from the rock. We are sent by the one.